Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kailash. I am coming with another uh, video on instrumental methods of analysis. In this presentation, we shall discuss about theory, instrumentation and applications of potentiometry. A typical cell for potentiometric analysis consists of one reference electrode, one indicator electrode and a salt bridge. So as we know a typical uh, reference electrode, so commonly used reference electrodes are calomel electrode and uh, silver silver chloride electrode and uh, indicator electrodes they are classified as metallic electrodes or membrane electrodes. Metallic electrode may be in the form of platinum electrode and membrane electrode may be in the form of glass electrode. So the cell can be represented as a reference electrode separated by a salt bridge and then analyte solution which is in quotient and it is in contact with an indicator electrode. So usually in potentiometric analysis the reference electrode should be taken as anode. So as we all know, a reference electrode is a half cell having a known potential which remains constant at constant temperature and it is independent of the composition of the analyte solution. So whatever might be the composition of the analyte solution, so irrespective of the concentration of the analyte solution at a particular constant temperature, the electrode potential value of a reference electrode remains constant and it is a known potential. Whereas the potential of indicator electrode, it varies with variations in the concentration of the analyte. You can see here, this is with respect to indicator electrode. So E is equals to E0 plus 0.0591 by N log of metal ion concentration. If there is a variation in the metal ion concentration, then there is a variation in the electrode indicator electrode potential and the third component is the salt bridge at the two ends of the salt bridge a small potential is developed and that potential we call it as junction potential so overall the emf of the cell is equal to potential of indicator electrode minus potential of reference electrode plus the junction potential okay so this potential value of indicator electrode it changes with respect to the metal ion concentration and as a whole the emf value of the cell also changes so this is a theory behind potentiometric analysis coming to the instrumentation part of potentiometric analysis. A typical potentiometric setup consists of a potentiometer device which displays EMF values of the cell. It is connected with two electrodes. One is a reference electrode. Here I have taken the example of calomel electrode and another one is a platinum electrode which is an indicator electrode. These two electrodes are immersed in the analyte solution which is in question and together these two electrodes are connected to the potentiometer and then for continuous stirring of the instrument, I mean solution, a stirrer will be placed and in the burette, a standard titrate solution will be taken. The titrate solution will be added from the burette to the analyte solution, the concentration of the analyte solution changes which will be detected by the platinum electrode whose potential changes with respect to the change in ion concentration of the analyte and simultaneously the entire EMF value of the cell changes that will be displayed here on the potentiometer. how it actually works. 
we have to take a known value of analyzed solution whose concentration is to be determined in the container or in the beaker a titrant whose concentration is known that is a standard solution is taken in a micro burette immerse the electrode setup in the analyte solution and connect it to the potentiometer add the titrant from the burette with an increment of 0.5 ml so as and when the titrant is added from the burette it undergoes reaction with analyte solution and there will be change in the concentration of the analyte solution which is detected by the indicator electrode whose potential changes with respect to concentration of the analyte solution and as a whole the emf value of the cell also changes so that has to be noted down and then we have to find out the concentration of the analyte solution by plotting the graph of emf versus value of titrant added by well, looking at this graph you can see as the volume of titrant is added the emf of the cell goes on increasing at particular volume of titrant sudden increase in the emf value takes place that point we call it as the end point of the titration we have to note down the end point that is volume of titrant by doing simple mathematical calculations we will come to know the concentration of analyte solution which is taken for the analysis some of the applications of potentiometer includes it is used in the measurement of ph of a solution so in the place of platinum electrode we have to connect glass electrode and which helps in finding out the ph value of a solution it is also used in the determination of carbon dioxide and other substances in sea water by oceanographers analysis of pollutants in water such as fluoride concentration is used in the titrations that is acid based titrations or redox titrations and precipitation titrations to find out the end point and it is also used in the analysis of drugs in pharmaceutical industries it is used in food industries for qualitative analysis like this we come across many different applications of uh, potentiometer this is about uh, a theory instrumentation and applications of potentiometry please subscribe this channel for more videos related to chemistry thank you